I'm Veronica Morley, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter, and this is Gunner. Now, Gunner is a 10-month-old who was brought into Kern County Animal Services, and because of the condition he was brought in and the way he acts, they believe that Gunner came from a home and that there is an owner out there looking to take him back. Somebody loved this dog, and he came in in good condition. He wasn't unhealthy, he wasn't thin, he wasn't malnourished. This 10-month-old shepherd mix named Gunner by shelter staff came into Kern County Animal Services on October 13th. Unlike many of the strays who come in though, Gunner is believed to be someone's pet. How do we connect the person who clearly loved this dog before with him right now. Kern County Animal Services Director Nick Cullen said every year they take in around 9,000 dogs. He believes many are pets who were in homes up until just before being brought in. And Patricia, she's five months old. A lot of the dogs just look, look just like her. Their temperament is fine. She's a sweet girl. Somebody loved her, right? And that love hasn't gone away. That Somebody loves and cares about her out in the community and they must be heartbroken. And so that's f constantly what we're trying to figure out is, is where did, the, com the, where did the, the commitment break down? KCAS is looking to ramp up reunification rates for pets and their owners. And one major effort is by taking a bite out of costly fees. If your dog comes into a shelter without any work on what's owed, you know, you're looking at maybe $225 to get your pet back. For Kern County pet owners, those fees could include $20 to $25 charges for care and feeding per day that the animal is in the shelter. It's frustrating because we want to help connect the lost love with the people that love them. Colin said while they can't change those fees, their priority is providing pet owners with the flexibility they need to take their animals home, including setting up payment plans and connecting owners with programs to assist with cost. They're also increasing social media posts of animals who were recently brought into the shelter in the hopes of finding their owners online. I've always tried to figure out, well, what's the reason why somebody would love and care for a dog clearly as much as they have, but they're not coming for them. And we know that uh, cost is a significant obstacle. Um, and so that's what this program is for, is to try to knock down one of those barriers, because we know cost is a barrier. Right, Patricia? My sweetheart? And Colin says that the best thing you can do if you've lost a pet is go through your shelters, the city and county, and make sure you walk through them to look for your pet. I'm your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter, Veronica Morley.